This doesn't have much to do with e-ink, but we will be comparing it to e-ink in a few moments. Inkbird was nice enough to send us the IBS TH1 Plus, which is the Temperature and Humidity Smart Sensor. Now, again, this is not an e-ink panel. However, we received this because we are going to compare it against another Temperature and Humidity Smart Sensor that is running full e-ink. So we're just going to crack this open really quick. You can see the warranty card right there. This is the user manual, basically. It's just the introductory documentation. And you'll see everything is in Japanese. This will be in your respective language. They sent this to our Japan office. So therefore, it is in Japanese. What is in the box? You get a USB cable, I would imagine. No, it is not. This is a non 3.5. It's actually the size down from a traditional 3.5 mil headphone jack and it's not for headphones. It's just using that shape. You will see there's only one line on here. So if anything, it would be like a mono headphone jack, but again, it's not. And it looks like you get a sensor. So this would just remain in the room and absorb all of the uh, humidity and the temperature I would imagine I just cracked this open I didn't read anything yet and here's the device itself so you can see in the back that it doesn't have any batteries in but we'll just put them in right now just like that and now we will put the panel back on and check it out so where does the e-ink relevancy come in right now we're gonna take this off and what we're gonna do is just look at this for a second. You will see what it looks like, and this is just a simple front layer that we just took the little thing off of there. And you see you can change it from C to F, and there is uh, that seems to be what looks like most of the temperature sensing right there. Uh, I actually do not know what this is right out of the gates. We will put it in the description below unless somebody knows. We're not very uh, knowledgeable when it comes to temperature sensors that have this weird uh, headphone jack looking mono uh, sound jack but anyways here it is moving this into the frame this is e-ink this is true e-ink and this is the Xiaomi Mijia so if you guys wanted to know the difference between looking at devices that are running e-ink and traditional LCD with kind of a uh, glass layer plastic layer on top these are the differences you will see in the exact same shot even if we switch positions the e-ink version completely different companies is much easier to see than this so this is what the whole point of this video was was that although they do have their intrusive layer on top you see we can catch the light and then it just goes away because it's very reflective but at most angles you can see the e-ink no matter which angle you put it at because e-ink is electronic ink it's simulating paper it's got little particles when they light up, when they get charged, they go to the surface. This isn't running Triton or anything like that or Tricolor, but just look at the difference. The blacks itself are more washed out on this and it's just harder to see at most angles. That's the benefit of e-ink. We are very much appreciative of Inkbird sending this to us. We are good e-readers, so we focus on e-ink and e-readers, and we wanted to show some relevancy with these two devices. If you guys want to grab this, we will have a link down below where you can pick this up. We will not sell this in our store directly, but we will help you get one if you are interested in any of the Inkbird products. For good e-reader and a full kind of first looks at the Inkbird line of devices, this is Peter, everyone have a great day.